What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and today we have a little information about Road to the Playoffs. It's coming out tomorrow, but I'm here to tell you guys a little bit about what you're going to be seeing. If you don't follow EA Sports uh, Mutt on Twitter, or if you just missed their tweet, there are going to be 700 new players, 700 or more new players, 300 or more new solo challenges. So if you guys are like me and knocked out all the other solo challenges, you're going to have an opportunity to get a ton more done. And then there's going to be 50 or more new sets, so this is a crazy big update, probably the biggest update we're going to get for the rest of the year. Obviously, we're going to have promos throughout until you know madden 16 or whatever but this is easily going to be the biggest uh content update we're going to have for a long long time and it was last year in madden 25 so uh and a lot of people love road of the playoffs i thought it was very very fun it definitely brings a new like life into the game it basically updates almost every card and from what i can understand here it's 700 plus new players that's almost every single player if not every single player that's in the game right now is going to be getting a new updated card um, now the thing that I wonder is will players get worse um, that's the thing I, I'm curious about like let's say someone's been having a bad year uh, will they actually get worse so uh, I don't know I'm trying to think of somebody uh, I really can't to be honest obviously players that are playing better than they did early, um, before the season better than they were expected are gonna get better cards a card or a player like DeMarco Murray is gonna get a much better card than an 84 overall gold card that he has uh, I would guess he's gonna have you know in the range of a 90 overall card that's just my guess he's been the best running back this season I don't think anyone can really doubt that so I'm gonna guess that he's gonna have somewhere in the 90s um, and it's just gonna be similar things like that you know players that are playing above average above you know what was expected they're gonna go up in overall and I guess it's possible that some players could go down maybe not who knows now we did get this Willie Young he is an 88 overall right end for the Chicago Bears so definitely a nice Madden season card that they gave us and actually a usable card as well it expires on November 12th so that is a week from now so you do have a week to play with this guy he's got 83 speed 90 acceleration 86 tackle 96 finesse move is crazy 74 power move really really solid card here nice right end to pick up for your team you know used for a week online stuff like that I mean everyone's gonna have him so just be wary of that right end position when you're uh, on offense but he's gonna be a nice pickup for your team just for this week um you know, and that's the kind of content update that we're going to be seeing in Road to the Playoffs. Now, uh, in Madden 25, they had a bunch of new solo challenges, and they also introduced the captain sets, I believe, um, are what they were. Now, we already have captain sets, which is kind of confusing. Um, they're called the elite sets, whatever, but you do get your captain for completing them. And... Uh, yeah, that's just the thing I don't understand. Are they going to be re releasing a new captain for teams or something like that? Not really sure what they're going to be doing. Um... I would be interested to see, and there's going to be 50, 50 or more sets from that little graphic I showed you guys earlier. So um, there's only 32 teams in the NFL. So even if all the teams get a new uh, captain or you know midseason player, whatever you want to call it, I would have to guess there's other um, sets you know for uh, people that have played well throughout the season. So I was thinking maybe you know midseason award sets. I know they had uh, midseason award uh, cards last year, but I think they only had a few of them, and they were limited edition. So I'm guessing they might do. Um, Midseason award sets for you know best running back best quarterback you know best player at every position stuff like that maybe not that's just a complete guess right now all we know is just what's on that graphic you know 700 or more new players 300 or more new solo challenges and 50 more sets um, so I'm really excited for it though the solo challenges are going to be cool as well and I think the Grand Master collectible is finally going to be able to be used that's probably one of the last sets that are are going to be released and I'm really excited about that because I'm very very close to completing the Mutt Master as you guys may or may not have seen when I was scrolling through these elites i really only need to do the colts and then the 49ers and i'm done with the elite sets and pretty much just got to get the legacy collectibles and i'll have the mutt master done so very very excited about that cannot wait for the road to the playoffs content tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to get out a video tomorrow i'm not really sure to be uh completely honest i will be very very busy tomorrow with uh class and things like that so hopefully i can get back and get a pack opening i think i'm gonna open a bundle for it I'm really excited about it uh, i hope you guys are too so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below and let me know what you're most excited for for, but the most feared promo or the most feared promo the road to the playoffs promo man i'm stumbling on my words getting ahead of myself here i'm too excited so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later